Welcome Virgo to your bonus love reading for August. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So as you all know, we are entering Virgo season, which will go from August 22nd to September 22nd. And uh, so basically what that's saying is that the sun or that's when the sun um, will be moving through the sign of Virgo. So your sign. So this is then a very important time for you guys. You may may feel more focused and more grounded in your hustle. Uh, this brings, uh, you know, to your attention more of exercise and wellness and clearing your space and more organizing and preparing yourself for long-term goals okay our new goals so um there's a this is very important also to make sure you get rest and not to overwork yourself so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> i couldn't get that out for some reason <laughs> but um we're going to start off with the a of tarot deck and then with the soul cards and of course the situations i also made my own little deck here Okay, um, for you guys. So we'll see what's coming through there. So let's get started with the A of Tarot and see what's coming through. Your cards have already been shuffled. What is coming in for a Virgo? Ooh, the Magician in Reverse. Okay, so we have, so the Magician is having all the tools and the power to manifest anything you want into life, right? But it is coming out in reverse. So there could be some trickery or something going on here or someone, you know, manipulation here with the magician or trying to, like some type of trickster. We do have a spirit of wands, which is all about new adventures, new beginnings, um, and lots of passion. We also have the three of swords. So this could be some type of breakup or separation here. And right in the middle, it's like you going to new beginnings. So you guys could be um, freshly broken up or separated with an energy or letting go of somebody here that was, you know, maybe feeling like a betrayal or feeling stabbed in the back um, here. Yeah, the Dawn of Rings. There is some type of message here. And we have the Six of Wands and the High Priestess. So I love this for you because it is stating that you're not really focusing your energy or giving attention to this uh, magician, okay? Whoever betrayed you here or, you know, did you wrong. Because I do feel like there is some type of message. Um, and then we have you operating with your high priestess energy, which is all about spiritual knowledge or intuition, okay? I feel like you know a lot of secrets already or see through the BS with energies. Um, that any, I don't feel like you're seeing something grow anymore, okay? So um, it's like there's no advancement when it comes to this energy with the magician. We do have a lot of advancement coming in with new beginnings, though, as an S, um, Ace of Pentacles. We have success and recognition. We have um, an opportunity here, okay? So a change of perspective, and this is a time of self-reflecting. So very beautiful energy um this not so much we're gonna get more into that so let's see i love that you're still even though you've been through so much and the ups and downs i mean this could have been in the past present or something you're coming out of you're still going you're still pursuing you're still you know trusting the universe and open in going through those doors that the universe is opening or uh, presenting to you so it's very beautiful how you're carrying yourself yeah with the three of cups this is more of compassion enjoying yourself here and the star in reverse someone here is um could be feeling very unhappy with the star in reverse let's just get the cards out here we go oh seven of swords oh the magician again yeah it's them see the magician is in reverse again so in their thoughts, they want to play a game, okay? I know th these readings have been super crazy lately, but we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Magician. Some Somebody's been caught before doing something sh sketchy or being shady or, you know, uh, maybe this could have been a cheating situation or other energies involved. Somebody that maybe you have a hard time trusting. And the mutual energy is like, the challenge is, is no more giving emotion. Okay. It's like you're removing your emotion. And I feel like this person may be second guessing themselves here, but I feel like they're just with the magician energy. It's like either they're lying to themselves. Okay. Or they're trying to come up with a plan, but they're not coming up with good intentions. Seven. Yeah. Their actions towards you is, oh, I, I'm seeing clearly now, but nothing's moving. 
kind of like this very confusing energy okay yeah it's definitely some type of communication but i don't see any oh look at you i don't see anything coming together as of right now i think you're mostly just enjoying your life okay or not enjoying it well maybe you are <laughs> but just more of of trying to find peace <clears throat> heal you know going after other things right now um i feel like this person may be a bit one-sided but you're coming up as the overall energy as the empress the empress again is the goddess of the deck male or female this energy is unconditional love you could be a parent but this is very abundant energy and this energy knows their worth okay so your love it, it was given and the effort you gave was very rare to this energy and i feel this person either didn't appreciate it or they might have some insecure issues or something in that sort to where they wanted to keep playing games and tricks okay but you were operating from love and you got to understand virgo that you were and you're already very wise so you guys have been through so much in life already to gain the hermit so this is more of going within for the answers like you have gone through so much experience and overcame so much anyways right that you already know how this plays out you already know the answers to this um yeah ten of wands feels like you're dropping some burdens here there you are queen of pentacles yeah releasing the devil a toxic energy not a very nice energy here you know i feel like look at all these um upright cards i feel like it was just heavy on you and all of these games and stuff it's like you're seeing much clearly with this energy that this person wasn't operating the way that you were right with the same type of love like the empress with the devil like yeah so i do feel that you guys are you know removing yourself from a, a trickster and you're coming up a lot of abundance coming your way guys okay especially in your season oh my goodness yeah oh let's actually see so don't make fun of my cards, okay? Because I wrote them out myself. But, <laughs> but I wanted something different. So let me see. I'm just going to pull out a couple cards and see what's coming through. Yeah. So right now you guys could be feeling some type of anxiety or confusion or stress for some of you guys. And then we have abort mission, okay? <laughs> Red flags, caution, and warning. So I do feel like this person has caused a lot of, you know, confusion, anxiety, has showed a lot of red flags. And I feel like your intuition, you know, was very on point with this energy. You came in wholeheartedly, unconditional love and compassion. I mean, like the empress is and i feel like this person you know just caused a lot of um you know d like stress in your life so let's get into the situations we have bounty hunter the chaser gossip ooh, petty jealousy and envy that sounds about right as to why someone would be this way. It's because their jealousy or their envy towards your your how you carry yourself. This person may have put you down for some of you guys or made you kind of question your self-worth or your your um, you know capabilities in life. Um, we do have less sexual and chemistry, but I do feel like this person maybe if you were with them, they could be gossiping with family members or trying to make you look bad. Um, and always being the victim and and i feel like you're not really bothered with that or you may be seeing that like this is what this person does we do have financial support child alimony and government so a lot of you guys could be you know have children with this person that's for some and then there is some type of magnetic unexplainable pool that can't resist so there's still an energy of feeling pulled towards you or you towards them we have, yeah, others involved. We have intervention and we have twin flame and lost. Okay. So ghosted, blocked, and cut off. Yeah. Yeah. This person, um, it may, you may be feeling like you were the one that was ghosted, but since you're coming up as the empress and seeing clearly, and this person was clearly coming from game. So if they cut you off, blocked you, or said anything, it's all because of desire of some type of like 
tactic or control that they were trying to do basically. You see this though, but now they're very unhappy and their game's really not working here and this person doesn't seem very satisfied, um, but again, not really taking accountability of their actions and not, not having the awakening that you've already have are having right now, okay? There does seem fast communication though um, coming towards you. Um, so let's see what else we can get. Let's see how you're doing and then we'll see what this person has to say. So I'm gonna grab these cards. Uh -huh, okay, that's what you're doing. They're not liking that you're setting boundaries, okay? With this romantic connection because you're seeing clear with that third eye and you guys could block them, okay? Or you're just setting boundaries here. Like, nope, you're not gonna treat me this way anymore. Yeah, and you're trusting the universe and trusting yourself here. Um, and it's asking you to connect more with the universe. You're being really guided here, guys. Um, you guys could be connecting here since we have the Three of Cups. So there is some type of connections that are coming in for you. In the outcome, there's still a bit of confusion as we have you, you know, still still feeling, you know, a bit confused and stressed and anxiety um, because this person could be trying to communicate and trying to play a game. I feel as this person is more and more being this way, you're seeing much clearly within this energy, okay? Because this person is coming up with the magician twice and that is a manipulator. That is someone who is playing games and it's not, and they're going to lose, okay? Let's see what they have to say. I don't know what I want. I gave into temptation. So that could have been a betrayal or somebody getting caught. I wish I could take it back. And there is a third party. This kind of gives me, I know a lot of people say it, and I know a lot of people in the comments are saying narcissism, and I believe that it's, you know, more very, very common. But I also feel like this person, you know, with that magician, they're not being genuine like you. I feel this person has so much envy and so much things that are unhealed within themselves because we have the star in reverse. It's like they're needing healing and it's like they do things out of impulse or out of manipulation to get what they want or to cover up their lies and manipulation. And I feel like this person, you know, does feel like they did do something really wrong here. Okay. Um, clearly, they're not ready to be in a committed relation. They're not ready to be with an empress. Um, the empress is already, you know, um, the whole package. And this person seems like they're playing toddler games. Okay. That's all I got to say. Clearly this person doesn't seem ready and I feel like it has nothing to do with how like you could give this person so much love, but they do not, like it sounds cliche, but they do not love themselves. They have to manipulate energies to actually, and like put a false mask on to actually have people believe in them. Like their heart and their soul and how they speak is not genuine, and, um, like it doesn't come natural. They have to trick people. That's really, really tough to swallow, but that's the energy I'm feeling here. And it, it's not, these energies, you know, learn later on when it's too late or never learn because they're been operating like this so naturally, like a trickster. Okay, guys. Okay. Yeah, let's see if anything new is coming in. Let's grab the romantic oracles. Ooh. Well, stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Love that. So definitely something's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yes. So you already have someone lined up to you. I uh, up to lined up for you, but I believe you can have more than one soulmate. I really do. And I think you're going to have someone great. Okay, Virgo, I do. I feel like this person really brought more growth to your life. Um, I know these, it's hard when you're in it with these type of energies, but like it really, like when you go through, when you see the games and putting your foot down, you're like, wow, you know, I, it, it kind of like grows you even more. Like they're meant to hurt you but it only made you stronger, you know? So that's that's what I'm feeling for you guys. Great reading for Virgo here. 
we do have forgiveness coming in, okay? Now, forgiveness <clears throat> is more of, um, again, forgiving, but you don't always have to go back to the person, but sometimes it's good to forgive somebody like this, even though it's hard to, because you, you're, they're no longer could, will be linked to your energy, okay? So the only reason why you forgive anyone is so it doesn't, the energy could be gone and it's no longer linked to you. And then you, the resent, even pain, resentment and anger will keep you linked to this person. So that's why I think forgiveness is so important regardless. Um, stop focusing your energy on past events where life is too precious to waste. Create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. And I feel like that is what you're doing. Creating your reality with that Empress energy full of abundance, love and operating from a very pure heart. Um, you're naturally an empress, okay? And it it takes a lot to become the empress in life. That's really at that level. It's just gone through, you've already gone through the page energy, you've gone through the knight energy, and you've gone through the king energy or queen energy, okay? And now you're in this situation and with life, you'll be operating with the empress energy. Sounds beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless. <clears throat>